Hello Scorpio, it's the Seed and Tarot and I'm going to do something very different today. So this is for Scorpio, 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 if you're dating a Scorpio, I want to see what's going on in this video. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it. So if you're dating a Scorpio, this is your video. I'm going to mix your signs, okay? A lot of people like this video, a lot of people don't. So let's see what's going on with a Scorpio, Scorpio dating each other, okay? Ooh. I think I'm gonna take it. No, not yet. All right, we just shuffle the cards. All right, so if it resonates, you guys, please like the video. All right, give this video a big thumbs up so YouTube can push the videos forward into a bigger audience so the video can grow, so the channel can grow. All right, Scorpio, dating a Scorpio. Tell me what's going on for Scorpio in a relationship with a Scorpio. And, you know, if this person has Scorpio in their chart, it might resonate as well. So just know that. It doesn't have to be, you know, a full-blown Scorpio <laughs> that you're dated, okay? This could have Scorpio qualities. So, Scorpio dating a Scorpio. What's going on for Scorpio dating a Scorpio, please? Ooh, Emperor. Okay. So this person is very hot, very passionate, okay? Um, so there's a lot of conflict with you guys. It's like a love, yeah. Like this person has great, great, great qualities. But I feel like, you know, you guys get along. You guys want to make this right, um, want to make this work out. But there's a lot of friction, a lot of arguments, and a lot of not seeing eye to eye here with the Five of Wands here. There is someone that wants to ask for a second chance in this connection, okay? And this person is holding on to how they feel, okay, because of a mistake that they have made, all right? So I feel like, you know... Even though this is happening here, um, this person is willing to fight for this relationship, okay? Um, and make this relationship very successful. So let's see here. Tell me more. Scorpio dating a Scorpio. Wow, soulmate connection. The star. So this person is coming towards you. Oh my goodness. So there's going to be very good times with you, but you guys are going to go through your struggles. It's not going to be the perfect relationship. I do see some childish ways here where conversations are cut or communication is cut. Like somebody is deciding, oh, I'm not going to talk to you. Uh, you know, I'm not going to come to you. And the queen of swords, like this is a big form of communication. So you probably walking around passing each other like, yeah, I don't know each other. You know, this is what I'm getting here. So I feel like both of y'all want to be with each other. You know, you guys have a lot of passion towards each other, but not only that, a lot of love. And you guys think about each other and the memories a lot, okay? And you want this person to come to you. I see that you want this person to come to you. And this person is going to come to you because they're going to want another chance. I see like this person wants to tell you that they want another chance in the beginning and they're like, nope, I ain't doing it. And then all these memories... Is just coming to them, okay? So eventually they're going to give you, you know, the relationship, the long term, the commitment, you know? But you are like in your feelings somehow. You might cut this off or you might just make this person, you might just lose this opportunity, you know? I don't know why, because this is a big form of communication that you're cutting from this person. Some of you block this person. Yeah, this person is coming to you with the apology. Oh, very selfish energy. Very young-minded energy as well. So you are coming off more mature than them, but they're giving you what you want because they don't want to lose you. All right? So they're going to tell you they're sorry. I do see an apology here. Send it upright. Be careful of these fishes if you're not ready to have babies, okay? Be very careful. I do see a selfish energy. Even though they're coming to apologize, they're very, very selfish, this person. Very selfish. All right? They're rushing towards you because, you know, of course, they don't want nobody else to have you. Kind of a player. Play a mode here. Play a mode. You know, something going on with you and this person where you're just like, 
lose an interest. This is what happens with Scorpio, y'all. First, you know, this is why I don't date my own because <laughs> first, they, they look so beautiful. And it's like, no, no, I'm not even going to get into it, y'all. I'm not. But, you know, then you just start saying, damn, you really start looking that way to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god all right so this person has a lot going on from their childhood i feel like this person it has a lot of damage you don't know what to do with this person either your intuition is going all over the place you're not trusting your intuition and you're just telling everybody and their mama what should you do you're looking at this relationship like you don't know if it has any kind of success or this is going to be successful is this going to work should i stay should i go but you look at it as a loss like this person made a choice and left you for someone else this is what i'm seeing here left you for another opportunity okay and never looked back so you're thinking okay well this person is gone but yet they're coming in to apologize this is what i'm seeing so this is what's going on this is why you don't look at this person as someone that you want to be with because this person betrayed your trust this person made a mistake they've they, you know what it is i feel like this person when y'all was starting y'all had a lot of arguments Y'all had a lot of arguments, a lot of friction. Now, I'm going to say this too. A lot of people are coming in with, a seven, with this uh, five of wands here. So you guys could be fighting on the streets for this person. Arguing with other folks for this person. <laughs> don't be fighting nobody for nobody. What you mean? Scorpio, we don't fight people. Okay? We too good. We too pretty to fight, be fighting. Okay? And we crazy. No. Scorpios do not fight for nobody. Okay? Stop. Stop it. I know y'all in not in the streets with your hands up. Okay. Um, but I see a lot of conflict here, okay? Um, I do see like this person is dealing with a lot of drug addiction issues, sexual addiction issues. This person could be dealing with a lot of um drink drinking, drinking, sexual addiction issues, or um a, a toxic family something that they're dealing with from their childhood in the devil okay in reverse they're stuck in this they're like there's no way out if i'm gonna be with anybody they gotta deal with this too there's too it's too late i've been dealing with it since forever this is what i'm hearing here but this person they want to talk to you but they're scared because of the portrayal that they did to you look at this the ace of cups they want a new beginning, but they're keeping everything to themselves. It's like they're stuck. They're stuck in the devil. They can't move. They're coming towards you and trying to be friendly, but you're so over this, you're not going to give them the time of day. This is, you know, they're gathering up their, their energy. You're in your feelings. You're working, doing, making your money. But at the same time, you're not doing the the job here you're not doing the work Scorpio to heal yourself to heal yourself you need to heal yourself from this connection there's some work that needs to be done forgiveness forgiving yourself forgiving this person what's the conclusion here because I'm drawing cards but I don't know the conclusion what's the conclusion Scorpio and Scorpio Ooh, my god you guys are just in love. That's what the, this person watching you. Mm -mm, watching you and not saying a word. Listen, this person moving very slow towards you, Scorpio. But they know what they want. They have a lot of baggage and they don't want to put anything on you. But most likely it is going to be on you because they want to be with you so bad. But they're keeping a lot of their feelings bottled up. Bottled up in the Queen of Cups. They're crying over you want to reunite with you i see this the two of cups here mutual feelings very strong soulmate connection coming through the six of cups two of cups this person thinks of you as somebody they could marry okay somebody they could marry one day have a life with you know the single life is not going good for them at all but this is what i see for scorpio and scorpio if it resonates you guys you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in your next one. This was a deep one as well. Uh, life is not doing too good for this person. Scorpio. Okay. 
since they left you, they want to be with you. If y'all not together already, because it's two of cups here, they want to reunite with you. This is something they want, but they don't know how to go about it. But they're willing to fight the fight. If they see anybody else trying to get with you, uh, they're going to start issues. All right, guys, I love you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.